rugged beauty of North America's subalpine lands, patrols its mightiest resident. <laughs> Bears are aggressive, formidable animals that can weigh up to a half a ton, have a bite force of over a thousand pounds per square inch, and at full speed can run at 50 kilometers per hour. The paws over 10 centimeters long and huge mounds on their back that anchor massive shoulder muscles, their digging and striking capacity is phenomenal. Upright on their hind legs, these awesome creatures can stand three meters tall and tower above all but their own kind. Despite the caribou's valiant defense, the incredible muscle power of the bear's forearms and shoulders, combined with its slashing claws and powerful jaws, proved to great a fear. Massive and highly resilient, these bears are built to resist the cold and make the most of the seasonal food supplies. The grizzly's sense of smell is so strong, it can even sniff out fish underwater. At several kilograms each, the salmon that make their annual migration upstream provide abundant, fat-rich meals that will bolster the bear's huge winter reserves. Before the winter hibernation, they will need to almost double their body weight. Excellent swimmers and well insulated against the cold. Much time can be spent in the alpine waters. <laughs> Although fatal encounters are rare, when matched, these bears have been known to fight to the death. Paws 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Edge with claws half again as long. Strike out. Blows soundly throughout the forest. A fully grown adult male stands a meter tall at the shoulder and has a body over two meters long and a sense of smell stronger than a dog's. The immense bulk of these frequently waterlogged hunters is supported by four powerful sure-footed legs that appear unaffected by the swirling currents and powerful torrents of water that often surround them. intelligent animals. With impressive memories, the young spend just two seasons with their mothers, learning all there is to know about the seasonal ebb and flow of food, the best places to seek out these annual feasts, and the hunting techniques needed to catch them.
such is the lure of salmon that this is one of the few times that adult grizzlies will tolerate each other. measures a massive 30 centimeters. It is a gate that houses four canine teeth, each five centimeters long. The strength of their jaw is such that they have been seen biting through pine trees 20 centimeters in diameter. With winter approaching, bears will eat as much as they can. Even when salmon are plentiful, these omnivores will continue to eat anything, from the bountiful salmon to grass, berries, deer, and even elk. In preparation for hibernation, they will put on over a kilo a day. Navigating the world with their noses, these masterful beasts remember and return to past places of plenty and will revisit them time and time again. Over 12,000 species, the ants of the world come in great variety, but they are all tough, strong territorial defenders of their realms, and will dispatch unwanted guests with relish. Hardy mandibles cut, bite, and carry, sometimes even carrying off the eggs of other species that they will rear as slaves. Other times, carrying victims far larger than themselves, and yet other times, are used as weapons to see off giants. With wing casts that are perfectly designed to colonize new lands, the ants of the world reign supreme. With species that can carry up to 50 times their own weight, and those with jaws that can pin down and dismember their opponents, these tiny warriors are supremely powerful. In the tropical forests of Australia, green tree ants are a familiar sight. With colonies that can reach up to a half a million, these entirely cooperative social insects build their nests of leaves high in the branches. Relative to their tiny size, ant muscles are much thicker than those of larger animals. Milligram for milligram, they produce much more force. If human muscles were in proportion to those of ants, we would be able to wave a car over our heads. Major worker ants weave the exterior of the nest together. Their bodies linked in chains. They pull the leaf edges closer together by reducing the length of the chain, ant by ant. Carried in the mandibles of other worker ants are the sticky white larvae of the colony. These produce a silk which is squeezed out in zigzags and used to bind the leaves of the nest closely together. One colony will make several nests. In some places, over 150 spread over a dozen trees belonging to the same colony. These are defended with such ferocity by these pugnacious tiny warriors that the areas in between colonies are often no insect zones. The oval nests can be 50 centimeters long. If not by an unsuspecting passerby, swarms of these eight millimeter territorial soldiers run out, gesticulating wildly with open jaws, ready for a fight. Green ants have a 
have a battery of attack and defense techniques. On top of their strength of numbers, they have a bite that they follow up with a spray of ascorbic acid. With a cooperative battle plan and some impressive wrestling moves, some of the colony grip and pin down their victim while others dismember it. It will be fed to their larvae. massive colonies. In some forest, ant numbers make up half the total number of insects. With one and a half million ants to every human on the planet, the total weight of the world's humans and its ants, despite the colossal size difference, is almost the same. In the dry Arizonan desert, these harvester ants are about to take to the skies for their nuptial flight. Winged reproducing princesses and drones congregate around the nest. The Mexican horned lizard times its daily activities, such as they are, around the time the ants are the most active. Harvester ants have an extremely toxic venom, the most toxic of any insect. Swallowing them whole, the horned lizard's blood has a neutralizing agent which renders the venom harmless. A revenge attack is sometimes launched, but the slow-moving lizard remains impervious to their stings. With pheromones drenching the air, males and females are drawn together and a commotion of mating commences. Once it is over, the drones will die, while the females will find a spot to colonize and pull off their wings. They won't be needed anymore. For this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, the males swarm the females, several trying to mate with one. From this mating, she will start a new colony. Their tiny bodies belying their power, venom and sheer muscle. Are the scurrying ants the strongest animals we know? have reached over 700 kilograms. And for them, nothing is off limits. With magnifying crystals in their eyes, creating superb binocular vision, crocodiles also have a transparent eyelid for underwater use. Add to that, a hauntingly silent approach. A 200 kilogram wildebeest is a perfectly reasonable target. When it has the wildebeest in its jaws, the valve at the back of the crocodile's throat allows it to take the animal under the surface without taking any water in itself. They can stay submerged for hours and lunge out at any time. are so perfect for grabbing and holding and generate such enormous power 
that victims are hopeless. Sensory paper lay in their skin allows crocs to sense the vibration of their prey so they can feel its presence even if they can't see it. Opening its mouth while basking prevents a crocodile's brain from overheating while its body continues to absorb heat. Propelled almost entirely by their pure muscle tails, these largest of reptiles are superb swimmers and have been known to travel from open ocean to 150 kilometers upriver. The largest known saltwater crocodiles have topped seven meters. With a prehistoric elegance, this croc's swimming efficiency is increased as the rays scutes on its tail channel water to either side of its body. The muscles that power the jaw of a four and a half meter saltwater croc generate two tons of pressure, enough for their teeth to puncture metal. that it eats, between 50 and 70 percent of it will be converted to flesh and energy, unlike the 3 to 4 percent converted in humans. With such a high food to energy conversion rate, crocodiles can go months without eating. With their external ear flaps, Crocodiles have the most advanced hearing of any reptile, as well as its armored body, powerful tail, incredible draw strength, and unsurpassed ambush techniques. Is the crocodile simply the strongest animal of them all? their mighty trees and flowing rivers. Forests are symbols of great towering strength. Yet scurrying over the plants, branches, and leaf litter below is a creature so strong it can lift 850 times its own weight. Tougher than the birds and snakes that decorate the forests, this hardened warrior is without a doubt one of the strongest animals on the planet. The phenomenal rhinoceros beetle is among the largest and most extraordinary of beetles in the world, and is the largest of all Australian scarab beetles. These hardened, stocky, horned insects can be six centimeters long. Only their rear wings beat in flight. The four wings of these flying, bulky beetles are hardened to a toughened cover for the rear wings that lie underneath. Tiny claws on the ends of their feet help them cling on while three pairs of long articulated legs bring the beetle closer to the scene of its next fight. Males with larger horns will outcompete smaller horned males and in doing so gain access to females that come to feed on the tree sap. <laughs> When females are around, males go horn to horn in combat. The aim? To dislodge their opponent from the host branch. These two titans of the insect world shouldn't fear each other's presence. The rhino beetle is vegetarian in dietary taste, while the confident prey mantis tends to prey on insects it knows it can overpower.
The hardy rhino beetle will do for a stepping stone. Each pair of tough forked horns almost beat. These males can just pinch at their rival, all with the aim of toppling their foe. Hard, heightenous exoskeletons provide armor against assaults, knocks and falls, and should they be toppled, these winged battlers can take refuge in flight. Rhino beetles have tibial spurs on their legs, which help to give them a solid grip, a very different use to the legs of a praying mantis, which are laced with rows of spines that help them to grip their meaty victims. With some of the biggest and most elaborate weapons in the animal kingdom, these rugged insects converge on their favorite branches, the battleground for a seemingly endless war. These Herculean horned beetles are as tough as it gets. Not only does the colorful mantis shrimp have the most complex and bizarre looking eyes in the animal kingdom, it can deliver a blow with the equivalent force of a 22 caliber bullet. The powerful second leg of a mantis shrimp is a formidable raptorial claw. Some are modified as clubs and some as spears. These tough crustaceans can deliver a blow so powerful that they have been known to smash through aquarium glass. With 16 visual pigments, more than five times our own, each of these stopped eyes has stereo vision. Some mantises seem to prefer hiding out in pre-existing burrows, and good ones are in short supply. These wild shrimp will compete aggressively for them, no matter who the opposition is. The speed of their strike is one of the fastest responses known. Some strike with velocities up to 10 meters a second. Visual hunters, these speedy creatures can see infrared, ultraviolet and polarized light, and all from their spying stalked eye their bodies safely hidden in the comfort of their current burrow. Hammering through the exoskeleton of a crab is something very few creatures are capable of. Yet a few blows from the bludgeoning club of the mantis shrimp is more than enough. Their hammer-like appendages have a latch and spring mechanism that aids in the generation of massive shell-shattering force. A dazzling collection of feeding mouthparts and appendages allow this beautiful mantis shrimp to feed on an array of mussels, crabs, clams, and snails. Whether it is for strength of vision, sheer power or strength of response time, could this dazzling little shrimp be the strongest there is? The colossal bear, the fearless ant, the formidable crocodile, the armored rhino beetle, or the hammering mantis shrimp, which is the strongest of them all?